first off, Sam, thank you for taking the time to be here. Of course. I have, like, as you know, been following you for years. So this is just like kind of a fangirl moment for me. And also just, oh my God. Like, I love your work. Everything I find you do in the Sonic community is so professionally written, it's broadcasted so naturally, and it makes you so unique and humble. It. So thank you for your oh work over the years. Stop it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And yeah, I've seen I've seen your stuff around too, whether it be in a uh you know, Smash uh, or just g- generic, you know, Sonic stuff. I've seen you around, so it's great to finally uh uh meet you and actually uh collaborate. This is great. Yeah, I've been wanting to do this for so long. We're always like, yeah, we're going to do something one day and then like life on different worlds, you know, <laughs> happens, the adult life, so It's nice that a Sonic game brings us together once again. So for those who are here early, this is an exclusive Discord recording. This podcast will be published on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, as well as on YouTube for the visual part. But if you're here in Discord, it's because you're an exclusive subscriber. So we appreciate you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, guys, of course. So Sam procrastinates. Go follow him. Everything will be in the description. Welcome to episode two of SG Cast, where we talk about games, walkthroughs, our experience in 100% completing games as a pro gamer, as well as in the esports scene, as I've been competing at the top level for since 2014. And now we're going to be talking about Sonic Superstars, the first true 2D back to its roots game or attempt since basically Sonic 4 and I don't even know mm. if I want to consider that Mania was a celebration yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so this yeah. really felt like the true sequel yeah or attempt yeah yeah no absolutely it definitely does it's uh it's just crazy the uh the amount of time it took to get here right right like an actual 2D game that actually feels new and like a new thing that we've been asking for since sonic 3 and knuckles so it's like they actually tried they did something they actually they actually put out a new 2d sonic game we haven't seen that in forever i was like saying if they don't do it in the next five years i'm gonna sell my life for it like i don't really know what i'm gonna do but i'd have to like go to sega or something like offer something i don't know man it's it was about (laughs) time it finally happened Mm -hmm. Is that uh, the era you grew up on, uh, like two D classic Sonic? Yeah, my first game ever was Sonic Two, so that was a great way to start, and uh, that's what introduced me to the world. So I've been in desperate need since Sonic Three and Knuckles. So Sonic Mania was such a beautiful love letter, and I just wanted mm-hmm. more. It was just the taste. So yeah, how about you? Where did you start? Funny enough, Sonic Two. That was my first game ever, and yes, it is sir. my probably my favorite Sonic game. I just really loved it. And it's funny that we mentioned we mentioned Sonic Two because I don't know if you saw the news today, but I guess I could bring it up. What's the news? Uh, did you see what happened today regarding Sonic Two? No, what happened to Sonic Two? Not the movie, right? Just there... to confirm. <laughs> no, no, the game. Uh, there was uh, uh, an old developer from Sega T- Technical Institute uh, gave uh, like like these uh, video game uh, archive people like his whole book and. He show, he revealed their their scrapped levels from Sonic Two, a winter level. Oh my god! What? Oh my god! And what? what? I show, didn't you know, you know yet. that? And, yeah, and you know that old screenshot of the desert level yeah. in Sonic Two that was like on that Sears ad. Well, he was given a VHS from somebody named uh, Brenda Cook, who worked <gasps> as part of those levels, and it shows that level, that picture, but animated, and you could see the plants moving, and the, it's so cool. Like this is like huge. Sonic 2 development news happening literally as we speak. I'm pulling so, out my hair. There's no way. Okay, Sam, I just <laughs> finished work, okay? I literally just got home. I didn't even open the internet happened. yet. So I came here, and now you're telling me about this, and we're recording. So this is not great. I need to leave. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, this is incredible. I cannot believe it. Okay, um, we need to find Brenda and uh, go give them a beautiful hug. Brenda did indeed cook. That's all I have to say. She God, I love cooking. Cooked. Oh, my God. So happy for her. Thank you. <laughs> you oh my great guys we gotta go check that out that's exciting i feel like sonic 2 it's there's something so special about it that i can't put my finger on it where sonic 3 couldn't replicate for me personally i don't know what it is i don't know if it's nostalgia because it was my first game sonic 1 was more slower pace i love sonic 1 it's a great passing for a quick Mm -hmm. hour run 
but Sonic 2, man, it's just like the level design, the music. Yeah. It's it's more uh it's a little more streamlined, I guess is a way to say. And I I think that's why I put it over uh, I have no problem saying Sonic 3 and Knuckles is probably a better adventure overall, but Agreed. I mean uh you know, when it comes to just sitting back relaxing for like an hour, like Sonic 2 is my go-to because with Sonic 3 it's such a long experience, it's such a grand experience, but Sonic 2 it's like I could just run to the end of the level uh, uh, and not care. And I like the bad ending in Sonic 2 anyways. So it's Yeah, like, it's really the same ending, you know. and you just want to fly or not, yeah. so you just decide yeah. if you want Eggman Matt or not. Yeah, and I just put the uh, link in the Discord thing right there for you guys to check out later on. Uh, the Gaming his- History Organization, they, they, they uncovered this, and it's just so cool oh to see uh, just the stuff come to life. It's just insane. Dude, the Christmas tree... Like yeah, I love Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, and now, but this is this is what's funny though too. So there's two different things. There's that Christmas level, and the cyber uh, like stage, uh, and Cyber City is what it's called. And right. I don't think it's any coincidence that now Superstars has a winter level and a cyber stage. So yes, that's sir. our segue because this is now more relevant than ever. It's like wow insanity insanity just like sonic superstars that was a great segue so we appreciate it we are here for superstars believe it or not so we're gonna get into it guys sonic superstars released this year it was actually so quick right they they announced it in april may ish and then before Mm -hmm. we knew it it was out on the market it came really really quick um i would love to know your thoughts sam in terms of its initial launch oh well, announcement and mm-hmm. when you got the game and first played it right uh so the initial reveal was surprising right because mm. it was right after the heels of, of frontiers and and origins and i honestly didn't really expect to see a sonic title like a new one uh we knew there was like you know talk of a possible 2d game coming sometime but we didn't know when and the fact that it just happened was just like we're doing it now and it's it looks like this like beautiful oh my gosh um yeah the initial reveal was just absolutely insane kind of came out of nowhere i think it was summer game fest if i'm not mistaken yes it was um yeah it just kind of came out of nowhere and it 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 was just a pleasant surprise um and the uh the initial the 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 build-up to the release was a lot of like these demos right these a lot of like uh, game kiosks and honestly i mean it kind of had a little bit of that frontier syndrome where it's like, yes. oh, some of this is really good, but it's some, that was something. I think the main thing that like had people questioning it was uh, the music. It was like it was like Sonic Four music, mm-hmm. and I was just like, huh. right. we're definitely getting into that one later because that's yeah. one of my things. Uh, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my notes I yeah. came with. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it it was it was it was like okay, so there's so like we're 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 gonna see how this goes, and then the release happened. So when I first played it um was on my stream and it was it was it was very surreal because my first experience playing the game was actually four player co-op oh no (laughs) uh uh so wasn't the the greatest experience if i'm quite honest um even then though it's it's the same way i look at uh super mario 3d world co-op on the wii u not yeah. the new one, the Wii U, where it's like it's fun but chaotic, like it's fun for the wrong reasons. That was the best way to describe it. It was very chaotic with my friends, but it was fun. It was really fun. It wasn't until I played through it again in single player where I'm like, okay, this is this is more of a traditional experience, something I could actually enjoy more. Um, there's still stuff we could talk about, but yeah, like like in terms of a first impression. It was it was it was all right, but going back to it and playing it single player was where I really felt like I uncovered. Okay, this is like kind of a proper two D experience that I've come to know and love in the series, and and there's something here for classic fans to enjoy. Uh, it's not all good in my opinion, but you know <laughs> we're gonna break still that down. Is good. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I actually like completely agree with you where when the game was announced, I had a mental breakdown, mm-hmm. had to leave work. It was a horrible, you know, uh, mental 
illness I had to leave work uh, for. I had to call out. It was a tragedy that happened in the family. <laughs> and I uh, got home, whatever, oh, yeah. son. I got to go. Got to go. There's an emergency. But, and then when I mm-hmm. got the game, I, I played it single player right away. I actually streamed. We did uh, a 12-hour stream of just beginning to end 100% right away and just get through the content. And... Right. I was really worried because I remember the night before the game came out, that's when the reviews started coming out. And I don't mm-hmm. trust reviewers. Like, critics and me, we're not friends. Right. Like, I never have the same thoughts as them. But what I do mm-hmm. have the same thoughts of is the general fan public. And when they right. started putting out videos saying that it's not up to the standard quality that we are expecting... I started to get a little nervous Mm. a little bit. And I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to go in with an open mind. I turn on the game, put it on. I was smiling the entire first zone. I was so happy. I was okay. Mm -hmm. Um, There were some things, of course, that caught me off guard. The first thing I noticed when I turned on the game, and obviously I clicked Sonic. He's my favorite character. I didn't care about anyone Mm -hmm. else, was one, um, I was personally not such a fan of the design of the models for the characters. That's not my Mm -hmm. personal look. Um, specifically Sonic's mouth. I don't know why it's open at oh, all times. Always owed. Right? Uh, yeah, always like, like in an O face. That's yeah. it. And then the patch came out. I was like, is it fixed? No. So, you know, so, something like that. Because no one else is doing it. So, you know, it's obviously a design choice, but it, it feels Sonic's attitude was more catered towards being cute than cool in this kind of uh, idea. And then the physics, where we were very much sold on the fact that this is very much key to key like on point the same physics you know from mania and the classics it was not Mm -hmm. sonic and his friends his their startup speed is very slow they take forever Mm -hmm. to start running very much sonic 4 like it takes a long time to really start running Mm -hmm. and the biggest problem i had with this look is they put the characters for some reason in the middle of the screen and when you put a fast paced character in the middle of a screen and you want to react to very, very strategic platforming for the first time in Sonic, by the way, in 2D, mm. in super high speeds with a big character model, good luck. You're getting knocked out before you can even, you have to know the stage by heart at this point. It's not even about getting good. It's right. not reaction. It's it's very odd because uh, Noto Oshima worked on Sonic CD and he had the camera figured out back then because Sonic CD was the game where the camera would have Sonic be more to the left of the screen, the camera would look ahead, mm-hmm. give you more of a reaction time. This is on a four by three screen. So he knew even back then that this was going to be a problem. Mm-mm. And yeah, and, it, and it's a shame though, too, because the camera for co op is where I think it should be for single player. Absolutely, because it zooms you know. out. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it, and because the camera can zoom out for, for, for co op for all the levels. That tells you the camera can zoom out more. It's not like there's no level that they can't show. They they can zoom out more. It's purely a design choice. And yeah, I totally agree with you. Um, I I definitely think he's way too close to the camera. Yeah. And one of the one of the problems I had, which is why I liked Sonic, because he could use the drop dash. Oh yeah. One thing I I did notice is is the uh, the spin dash for me was like not working properly. Mm-hmm. Um, and then come to find out, it was because of my monitors fps which was just like what yeah i don't know if you had this bug but uh sometimes your spin dash if you charge it you know how you charge it you spam the button sometimes no matter how much you charge it it'll still act like you only hit the button once and that's a bug relating to your monitor's fps it has to be 60 frames are you serious i never heard yeah. this one yeah uh if, if you do anything over 60 fps your spin dash will be nerfed to just one button press, which is what I experienced when I played the game. I'm like, man, the spin dash is so like nerfed, and I feel like I have to keep drop dashing. That's the only way I could gain speed. But yeah, no, uh, that was another problem I noticed with the game. Oh my gosh, uh, I'm going to test that right after this. <laughs> a horrible, a horrible uh, uh, QA. Like th- this game definitely needed another couple months in the oven. It was not ready, uh, and I think that's stuff. the blunt response, and yeah. that's why I do these podcasts to really. Um, Mm -hmm. I work with developers uh, where I work, we do game marketing and, um, Mm -hmm. and that's why I come to do this stuff to be like, yo, this definitely needed a few more months, especially that it got, you know, kind of 
shadowed by Mario Wonder, Spider Man, all at the same time. And yeah, I think it was a horrible really time. Unfortunate. unfortunate marketing as well. I think that Frontiers, we know the story of it having basically no marketing at all to having the yeah. best marketing towards the last three months. And that did it justice. But superstars had the opposite effect where it was very yeah. strong at first everybody was talking about this game uh games cage went to go play the game and everyone was talking about it right. and then it they just be quiet i don't it's like they knew that they mm-hmm. needed time or something and it just stopped being talked about until the day before so yeah yeah no marketing is a huge factor and yeah i really fucked this game lost all relevancy and i'm not surprised that sega's recent uh Sega's so recent investor report, uh, yes, they said to their investors that the uh, the game undersold. Uh, so, you know, not really surprised by that at all. I, I read it, it and, I, and I think I commented on that post saying no shit. And like, just, right. yeah, that's all I commented. <laughs> and I don't usually say that, but I'm like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and and they it's, only started I mean, doing the commercials and the McDonald's toys in Portugal out of randomly. But it, yeah. they started doing that after the game launched about a month later. Mm-hmm. I was like, guys, we needed this in September, even maybe like earlier, honestly. Right. Yeah, no, I agree. I definitely agree. Definitely a huge marketing uh, uh, problem, which, I mean, to be, it's so strange, though, because I do feel like uh, a lot of Sonic games suffer from this. I know Team Sonic Racing did big time. Like, they didn't show the game at all until, like, right before release. It's like, yeah. what the heck? Oh, yeah, um, that, that game got bodied yeah. hard. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a major marketing problem with Sonic. They got to, they got to change the way they do things. Um, absolutely. Yeah. But, uh. The, the the more I, I think about uh, Superstars and the more that comes out about it, uh, it's definitely a game that's like, I feel like it's kind of had the opposite effect, right, from Frontiers. I feel like over time with Frontiers, people learn to appreciate it a little bit more. And, and I guess the, the updates definitely help. Mm-hmm. I feel like the over the last month or two that Superstars has come out, I feel like the more that people peel under the surface, the more they, they see like, oh, like, it's really just not as polished as it should be. Oh. And uh, it's a shame. It's a shame, really. Absolutely. I, I, I think it's when you play a classic 2D Sonic game, let's use Sonic 2 as an example again. I think that's going to always be our kind of comparison here. Um, yeah. You want to play it over and over and over again. And I still get that right. today where if I have an hour or two, I'm still going to pull it out and play it. And I don't get that with Superstars. I just, mm-hmm. I completed it 100%, and I'm someone who buys the same damn game on every console. I got 23 copies of Sonic 2, so it's like, <laughs> literally, like, it's like undersold because of me. I'm so sorry, okay? Yeah, <laughs> you can count them. <laughs> no, hold on. No, I know. I'm counting what I have because I think I might beat you to that. <gasps> hey, yo, hey, yo, wait. PS2, I, I will be PS2. happy that you beat me because I won't feel so mm-hmm. bad for myself anymore in my bank account. So I'll let you count. I oh you have I to go get count. it later. I, you gotta send me a picture. You gotta send me a picture. I have, later. I pro- I'm probably <laughs> around twenty some. Like, yeah, legit. I'm sure. I no matter what, if they are like, here's a poor my hooky bought it so, <laughs> all the time. Uh, but but I don't get that with superstars. I was so excited to like Frontiers, buy it for every console and support it. I actually right. had the limited edition ordered for me to pick up. Uh, for the physical on switch but it got canceled by gamestop Uh, i was one of those people that ended up being a big trend a lot of gamestop orders for sonic superstars that had the limited edition ended up being canceled because that pop-up didn't get printed for some regions and as someone in quebec i know for a fact we did not get it and i was so pissed off uh, same thing. I have another. I think someone else in the chat here had the yeah. same situation, and more. I it never happened. I actually did see one comment. Uh, someone who works from at GameStop actually did say they received a call on the day of Sonic Superstars' launch from Sega of America. Ended up getting with the distributors late, so a lot of the stores and online orders with the pinup and the pop up of exclusive bonus did not come in time leading to a lot of these getting canceled meanwhile at my store i'm sitting at 50 plus sonic superstars stands on hand way beyond what we have in stock of the actual game it is so upsetting sounds like a lot of disorganization for sure 
Wow. Wait, that is actually huge. So yeah. right there, we have confirmation that Sega just dropped the ball on on, on the shipment for this game. And it ruined people's ability to have what they paid for. That's insane. Yeah, I, I and I agree. And like, not agree. Uh, geez, I mean, I can't agree with something that actually happened. But I see it because the same happened with Frontiers, where there was the exclusive uh, box order. It was awesome that Sega sent out awesome creators like us or who got an awesome package from them later on. But I originally ordered the box. So it was where I would get the limited edition, beautiful casing and everything. And then I found out it's not in Canada and it wasn't going to come in Canada, even though I ordered it. Har <laughs> Har Harley ended up getting it finally, but it never came out. It just... There was no word there on what happened, but either way, I ended up with one copy on my Xbox. I feel Sonic runs best on Xbox for some reason, uh, and mm -hmm. it just it, it like I'm happy I didn't spend the money because I enjoyed Frontiers way more. Like it just right. I love going fast, and I don't mind. This is the first Sonic 2D game that it. When you look at the back of the box, it says a 2D platformer. And they have mm. never said the word platforming before behind their boxes. So when they said that, I and then I played the game and how much platforming there actually is into it, it really did feel like a traditional platformer than a Sonic game. And that's why mm. I think this game does not have its magic. Where, yeah, right. you're climbing, you're climbing, you're getting better at it. Yeah, it's fun. But is it any different from anything that's out there? A lot of the marketing with this game, like you mentioned before, is their big push on the fact that they, they got the momentum right, apparently, right? That's That was their big push. Go uh -huh. The way I look at this game, which is funny, because you look at like what Mania was doing. Mania was like, Sonic is truly returning back, and we have our new zones, and uh, we have this new move called the Drop Dash. So there's some new here that you can look forward to. It feels like the the, the thing that that this game that they were pushing with this game is not so much oh the movement is good it's we didn't f up the movement it feels like that's kind <laughs> of it feels like that was their their specialty it was like hey we didn't mess it up like that's it that's all this game has going for it don't worry guys like, it's not like, sonic and even then it's still not like perfect but it, yeah it's like it feels like that's kind of what they that what they were saying is like yeah we could do it too mania suck on that and it's like well mania is still more fun <laughs> yeah by, by a lot yeah and even replay value wise i feel like when you mm -hmm. complete sonic mania i want to play the same game over and over with different characters and find different right. routes and have the knuckles exclusive side story all the time and that mm -hmm. one extra level and then here i'm like everyone shares the story at first i was like oh that's yeah. cool but also I don't have a reason to play any of these characters anymore besides right. the achievements. It, it really feels like the first two zones, um, Bridge Island Zone and Speed Jungle, I believe the name is. Yes. I think those two zones, if the whole game was like that, like designed like those, I think it would be great. But I feel like right after Speed Jungle, it, it, it kind of starts to like fall off a little bit. And then it, it falls off hard. When you get to press factory, that's when the oh, game. Oh yeah, that music like, plays, it, and you're like, "Oh, I'm screwed, bro." Like, <laughs> yeah, it's you know, uh, when you look at the history of the development for this game, though, we we know that like, uh, and they said this in interviews that Evening Star was originally supposed to be the people they worked with on this game, and for one reason or, or another, during or during development, it changed to Arzest, uh, probably some sort of contract dispute or something. I mean, at the end of the day, if a if a studio leaves, it, it's a thousand percent probably money they probably weren't getting paid enough and they we said love Screw money. It, we're gonna go make our own game um but i mean at, in the end it feel it feels like you could actually see that change in this game and i think that's the i think that's why this game to me which is what i described it in my review which this sonic superstars has an identity crisis yes i actually that's saw your review game, it's why i messaged you <laughs> oh yeah yeah i saw no, yeah, this, okay i'm gonna message him <laughs> Yeah, this whole game just feels like an identity crisis, and I and I feel like the reasoning behind that is because you can tell, like, there's two different sides of this game, and it literally feels like two different studios worked on it, because that's literally what happened, is two different studios worked on it. And I feel like Bridge Island Speed Jungle probably is the remnants of Evening Star's involvement, and then at some point, you could see this change into straight-up Sonic 4 levels of, of gimmicks. 
you said it best. The zone absolutely, to, to, absolutely. Yeah. I completely agree with you. It's it's I it's like a fight between two studios, right? Where same thing yeah. with Sonic 06 in a way that had to split up True. and go do Secret Rings. Like it's the same kind yeah. of story, but except both kind of studios clashed where you're mm-hmm. constantly like, Yay, this is really fun. And then, oh, this is really bad. And then, oh, hey, this is fun again. Oh, it's one act. Oh, this is really bad again. And then three acts of, oh, this is really bad. I can't wait to leave. And then, hey, (laughs) this is really fun, but it's one act. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the the constant roller coaster ride that you're on that just leaves you feeling nauseous when you're done. Right. You know, it's funny uh, because we we mentioned Mania a lot. Um, It's actually really funny looking when I was playing through this game and seeing how much this game actually borrows from Mania. Um, and I don't know if you've noticed this too, but like a lot of the level th- ideas and things come straight out of Mania. Yeah. And that's fine. Like some of them are like could just be seen as like callbacks, but sometimes like, I don't know if you remember, like, like it's, it's such a small thing and it's such a nitpick, I know, but to me, it tells me, okay, there was no real creativity here. It was the end, the the, the final boss, the actual. Oh, final boss the Jesus Christ! Yeah. Again, again, I don't know. Are we? Do we care about spoilers? I don't think we do. Yeah, no. This again, is so, uh, we're good. We, all of us have completed it at this point. Okay, when you fight Barney the dinosaur, <laughs> and there's like these clouds in the background, like the background's purple and it's moving fast, and the clouds are moving fast. Yeah. That's like one to one, just the mania background during their final boss. Yeah. And I was going to say it's out. literally the same boss, just a different dinosaur. Like now it's yeah, Spyro. It, it, so, but when I saw that, I'm like, to me, I'm just like, it feels like there's a lack of creativity here too. Uh, and I mean, I mean, and I'm not going to, I mean, for all we know, it could have been time constraints and, and they are just like, Hey, just look at that game and copy it. But <sighs> point is, is like this game, like, it, it's it's a shame because I think the reason why I get frustrated is because it it's so close to actually being good. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just the small things that add up over time. The level design, definitely later or later on, the movements uh, being a little off uh, here and there. Um, but I think the big thing uh, and music music is such a powerful tool. I mean, look at Frontiers. Have yes. you ever tried playing the Titan boss fights on mute? I got to tell you, as a person who records a lot of like PR stuff that often has to record these games with no music but just sound effects is miserable. Music oh, is yeah, I get it, man. Tool. Yep, I'm and in that field. Especially for Sonic. And especially for Sonic. And uh, Especially Sonic. I He's think, known for the best music, which yeah. he was still robbed. I'm still kind of salty about that award, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. agree with you. Yes, like Sonic music has to be so like, when you hear it, you know it's Sonic. Mm-hmm continue right <laughs> yeah no i'm just you know that was pretty much it it's just like yeah the music is such a powerful tool and that's something sonic always gets right no matter what the game is the, the game could be horrible but the music will always be a joy to listen to and this game messed up on something that is never a problem in the series and i think that's where that just becomes disappointing it's like man like I don't even have that to go off of, and that would have honestly probably helped this game like a whole point for me is if the music was better. Absolutely. And then yeah, yeah. I I was so frustrated yeah. with the cutscene music because it's Sonic Four, and uh, I right. I kept skipping, and then I was fighting you know Barney, and I was just like, wait, why am I? Who is this? Where did he come? From? What does this yeah. have to do with the plot? Like I mean, there is no real plotted 2d sonic you know you're stopping Eggman, right. but he came out of nowhere man like literally the background yeah, really of the did. world i was like okay i guess we're fighting you know spyro now he's upset i don't right. know it's i had the same same reaction and you talked a little bit about frustration and my biggest frustration comes down to that time over money where if they they learned from past mistakes like It's no secret. Even the people who have never worked at Sega and are recently being hired. Like, you know the history behind Sonic at this point and why Mm -hmm. good games did well and why bad games didn't do well. Sonic Frontiers Mm -hmm. did incredible on release vanilla because it took the time. It was delayed three times. (laughs) Like, let it delay if you need to. I know you're worried about forces, but again, like, that goes back to the superstars where it's it's you're delaying for the right reasons and not the wrong reasons where if you're going to delay and lose a profit because of that time well 
you're going to make back those software sales by just mm. adding better and more polished content. And it hasn't failed. Frontiers is still selling so well to this day because of the constant content they did based on feedback mm -hmm. that made the game better, added more content. They could just do the same with Superstars. Yeah, it's very odd. I don't know why they felt like they needed this game to come out this year. There was already so much that happened this year for Sonic. I really could have done without this game this year and had it pushed to 20, early 2024. All this the been, all the COVID uh, games came out this year, so we didn't need it this year. Okay, <laughs> we really didn't though. We didn't, and, and we had we had those three updates for Frontiers, and th those were pretty substantial too. And, and it kept Sonic uh, relevant. We already had Sonic Origins yeah. uh, and Sonic Origins Plus, so it's like we really didn't need desperately need superstars dream team uh, is out now have... and it's doing incredible number right. one on the app store still yeah and dream team oh my it's god so it's like they're so good so <laughs> yeah it, it's yeah it has no right to be this good i'm writing my review I, I, right now, I, me too like i'm in the progress <laughs> that's my first sentence is this game has no reason to be this good <laughs> yeah why is this um, so good apple yeah get on board and start making sonic games i don't know what to tell you yeah. they did a great job yeah it's um but the, I think the main thing I want to talk about, and, and the thing I want to reel back on a little bit, is Please. that so when I think of superstars, like you know, my the, you know immediately I, I go into a complain mode. But I think the majority of the reason is you know at the end of the day, even though the levels aren't great, I can still have some fun in in the levels. My main concern, the thing that really brings the game down, is the bosses. Yes, I think that's like the biggest thing ever, and I feel like we like that's really what I want to talk about is like. When I talk about superstars and, and just complaining, I have to put it on the bosses because mm. the the bosses in this game oh God. make me so mad. Because Play clip here for someone like you, right? So, so uh, do, do you participate in a lot of like speed runs, right? And I, I like to watch them. Is, I like to watch them. I'm I'm like mostly just pro gamer completionist, but I do esports for Smash like, and fighting. Even Sonic. even for stuff like that, even even for stuff like that, do you feel really limited in your ability to? to beat these bosses in this game the way you would want to. That's such a great segue because like that's exactly what I feel. There is no freedom yeah. in this game as to what I want to do against the boss, which is what you always feel in bosses like any other Sonic game, even the 3D ones. Frontiers is a great example. Right. I, I agree with you. Continue because, yes, I do feel limited. I feel trapped, and I feel like I have to follow a script. Right, and that's what's annoying to me, and I made this point. It's the fact that what made it what made the old classic game so fun even the ones in mania fun is how fast can i beat this boss how many mm -hmm. times can i learn this guy's patterns to get extra hits in this game physically prevents you and i have footage of my review playing on my other screen while i'm talking uh, to i'm going to put it I'm here y'all right now i me constantly jumping at this thing and it doesn't register because he has an invisible and invincibility box just going on for like another 5 seconds you, you're physically prevented from beating these bosses fast where it's such a pace breaker in the game. And the worst thing you do to me in Sonic is hit the brakes. Oh, you yeah. Not hit man. the brakes on me. I want to be and... rewarded for figuring things yeah. out by going fast. When I hit you because I earned it, I want to get faster. That's always what's right. been the magic about Sonic. You play the same damn fucking game over and over <laughs> and over, and you're faster each time because it's damn rewarding. Yeah. And that's the secret to Sonic. Yeah, and and it sucks that this game doesn't get that. It it so and it feels like it's depressing. And I feel like if it feels like this, the bosses are one thousand percent. Like this has to be like such an Arzus thing because it's it feels like like a developer that's never made Sonic bosses before. They're just like you hit them, then you have to follow this thirty second script of just avoiding the easiest projectiles, only to be able to get the opportunity to hit them again for like a second. And if you miss that window, you got to wait again for another 15 to 30 seconds. Uh, so yeah, it's, supersonic um, feels useless by the way, like in those bosses, he's just yes, there losing rings, he, which I, you I, can stop. <laughs> I've barely, I've barely used supersonic or any of the other super powered forms, which I'm Same. not even going to get into that rant. Yeah, that's that fun. Just, that's a whole other episode. That's yeah. Uh, it's just it's just ridiculous, and we'll talk about maybe trip in a second here. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I just I I just don't like the bosses in this game, and I feel like that's what brings this game a whole two points down for me. Yes. It's like 
if the bosses were better. And I, don't get me wrong, I like challenge in my Sonic games. I'm not like like I actually do like challenge. It's um it's very rare for me to complain about challenge, but there's a difference between Come challenge. Come on, we and did King's Trial, life. okay? This this is nothing. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh and, and what's funny is uh when I was looking at my footage back for Superstars uh during the uh, Fang uh boss uh not uh there's two of them the one where you're doing the auto scroller where you're on the flying carpet thing that footage is six minutes long yeah and <laughs> that's not me i didn't mess up once that's just how long it is without messing up is six minutes and if you die at the end you have to redo that last i love six minutes, that you're bringing just... this up and i'm sorry to interrupt you because i actually tried no, live on stream to skip that section by using trip super form because you could fly over oh, it. Gosh. So I tried so hard to see if I could skip it and the game actually does not load until you force yourself to go on each time of the carpet or where you need to. You can't even oh, get man. to a certain section. The game's camera mm. will actually box you out and force you to be like, hey, you're here now, but you need to be here. And then wow. it, like, it forces you to be in a specific spot so the script actually starts and then the, the opponent lo like, logs in. It's so bad. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm upset. Wow. I'm very passionate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that's... Wow. Yeah, and and... and... Yeah, it's just, yeah, you got to follow a script. You have to follow the script. There's no freedom. And it makes me wonder how this will affect speedrunners. Uh, because they're just going to go play Mania. I don't know, man. Yeah, probably. Um, I'm hoping this game, it sucks because I don't want Sega to get in that mentality of like, oh, we could just patch it later. But like, man, this needs to be patched. Um, it's a bit, I'm hoping I hate it's that not mentality, just... by the way, of just like where games, especially it's specifically AAA companies, right? They know that it's going right. to sell. They need the money. That's where the profits come in. I get it. Launch is what makes the most amount. But it's this mentality with other series too. Pokemon's a big example where it's like, we're going to mm. put it out and fix it later. We'll add more later. We'll do this later. We'll do this. It's like, right. gosh, man, yeah. I want to go back to the store and buy my cartridge Sega Genesis. Like I can't wait to do that. Right. Just stick it in and play. And at least that's what I get when I buy it. And it's just not that anymore. And that sucks. But mm -hmm. it, it unfortunately is our new world. If they mm -hmm. want to update it, and they are listening right now to us. What do you think should be patch are number one? Sega? Yeah, we hope so. But if, because we want to help, because, you know, we're complaining and obviously people are going to be like, oh man, they hate the game. Like, guys, it's not even that it's bad. It's not that it's good. It's okay. And I, we love mm -hmm. Sonic. We are like one of the most passionate people yeah. in the community. And at the end of the day, we're speaking through frustration because we know what Sonic deserves. So if Sega's watching and listening, you know, what are we going to tell them as to, let's say they release a patch one. They did, by the way, it was a great Santa costume, but if they were going to actually touch the game, <laughs> what do you want them to fix on patch number one? Oh man. If they had to patch something, I, I, the fan in me wants to say the music, but that's not important. Right. Mm -hmm. Like genuine, genuine, first thing they need to fix is legit bug breaking glitches. Yes, ma'am. Uh being teleported to the last stage from battle modes menu is egregious. Uh all of trips hard mode by the way is completely broken. All of trips hard mode just being bro broken. Um Fang's uh giant mech boss, the God. telegraphing of those needs to be way better. The floor disappearing also needs to stop happening. <laughs> um I actually what's funny is a couple nights ago I watched uh, some call me Johnny's uh, second channel SGB. Shout out to uh, him. They were playing. Yeah, they were playing through the game, the final boss Eggman uh, on Sonic Story with the Eggman mech, and their camera started to freak out. Where the <gasps> camera, you know how you know how the arena is like a three D arena yeah. where you're running around the boss. The camera started to spin around the boss super quick for no reason. <laughs> it was so funny and it made me laugh so hard but stuff like that needs to be fixed asap that's yeah, what i was yeah, trying to good. avoid yeah look it stopped the platform what what <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then and then from there we could talk about like music and and aesthetics and all that stuff that makes the <sighs> game just better overall but first thing first is fix the game and then from there, we could go into maybe lower the, the hit count on certain bosses. Yeah, more freedom. Uh, more freedom. Speed up that startup animation. Fix Sonic's damn mouth, please. I 
beg of you <laughs> add more skins that'd be nice I, i'd love to get some more yeah. skins like lego was really fun i'd love to have sa- Le- <laughs> the lego was fun but i mean for five minutes I, yeah <laughs> i wanna i wanna i actually want to bring up did you see uh another thing um with the recent update for the sega costume data miners found other costumes shadow, shadow, did you hear shadow, about them shadow, 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 shadow. yeah but it's it's so weird, right? They're doing a shadow costume for Sonic. Yeah, that's why I'm also like, upset. I didn't even comment because I was like really hyped. I was like, maybe it's they're adding a character. That would be cool. And then I click in and it's like, no, it's a skin. I'm like, but he's not he's not Sonic. But it's like I guess like they want to follow the rules of oh Shadow can't be in a classic game because it wouldn't be. Why not? I guess because he's in cryogenic chamber, fifty years, all that stuff. I get that. He but woke like, up. He was hungry. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, I don't know. It just was like I don't think anyone would really care. Like no one really would care. I mean, classic. They already treat classic as if it's a completely different universe. So it's yeah. like I don't know. Um, also, Trip is just a new character, and she's never appeared in a modern game. So I mean, Absolutely. we really want to talk about. I, I yeah, like if, if we can focus on Trip a little bit. Actually, let's give her some love because I genuinely actually really loved her yeah. character design. I love that we have yeah. a damn dragon in the in the series now. Yeah, but I, I think awesome. she, her personality, her blush, like she's so cute, and I think she fits really well. I think she'd be great friends with Cream. I I think like. Right. She's just such a humble character, and she has such a good development in her uh, her personality. And I really like they took inspiration from the the what is it, the Wisp to have her stick on the walls and just kind of walk around, you know, right. spikes. I, I think that it even though it did not work, by the way, those things like the, the physics sometimes were just very weird. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. I had a lot of glitches with those. Shout outs to that. But it it. In general, was very fun to play her. I just didn't like that her hitbox was so huge. There were so many times I got squished when I wasn't even close to things, and mm-hmm. she's naturally a bigger hitbox. Right. So, um, but huh. she was she was like such an she was the favorite part of my run, and unfortunately, her mode was incredibly broken. So I just said, oh well, at least she's great, but not the levels. <laughs> <laughs> that is just so unfortunate but yeah uh, like uh, but yeah i also like her character and i love that she's just like conceptually a dragon is just so great yeah, it's sick but then you get to another aspect where it's like oh then then the, the game starts showing itself where the <laughs> the dragon model disappears because they're like oh we made this thing too big for the uh, levels. going through <laughs> the tunnels is great like wee! <laughs> yeah she just, she oh. well just just to get rid of the model just have her disappear and have an aura and it's like that's so crazy i can't imagine mario doing that <laughs> oh can you yeah great great time we should put mario in the game and find out i can't wait to see the day supersonic flies around a stage and not the dragon i don't know right. <laughs> god yeah uh makes me sad oh, yeah i think the biggest updates is definitely the hard mode it's completely busted it just doesn't work uh at every level there's something i've had the game soft locked on me many times we've had those clips on stream uh we've had wow. multiple achievements just stuck so uh, specifically the bug uh hitting the enemies one with sonic and his uh his drop dash so there was that uh, and like you said the startup the, the camera put it to the left that's gonna fix already a lot of issues the freedom right. in bosses the scripts and honestly, if you want to do that third update, like Frontiers, dude, music, change the music, put the sound box yeah, inside please. of Superstars. And it's great because, you know, the melodies for a lot of the songs are fine. It's just the instrumentation. Yeah, it's, it's like, just... why are you obsessed with that like, ee, 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 ee sound? Like, I don't <laughs> understand. Like, guys, drop it. It's not interesting. <laughs> I don't know. They love something about oh, it. Man. Uh, it's, it's, it's. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's actually insane just how much uh, this game would really benefit from a plus type thing. And we'll see if they do it. We'll see if they do it. This game desperately needs it. Um, and I'm hoping they, they do. Um, and I'm I'm hoping, though, you know, in the future, you know, off the tails of this game is obviously I, I, I love Classic Sonic and I want them to continue. I really just want to see uh, a full Classic game made by Arzest again like I want Arzest to sorry not Arzest I'm so sorry wow I was Gaming like Star. bro this is this is bold say be very careful about these words yeah no sorry <laughs> I, I was just paid off no uh, Evening <laughs> Star 
uh, it needs to needs to uh, uh, have full uh, development cycles. I think. I think. I think that'd be great. I want to see what would have happened if they finished what they started. I agree with you. Yeah, and I would I would love to see that. And it, it looks like they were starting off strong, and I want to I want to see it fully realized. So uh, we'll see what happens. Till then, I'm I'm looking forward to what is it? Penny's big breakaway. Me too. Movie. Been following that very yeah. closely. Very excited to see that. Uh, lots of great 2D yeah. games coming in from Sonic developers themselves or fans that are just doing incredible work and should be even picked up to do some uh, classic Sonic right. the way Mania had its development. So it'd be great. Um, I know your review and you know your score but if you i don't know if you want to change at all here but me i'm gonna tell everybody that sonic superstars for me personally in terms of a hundred percent view from all the achievements every possible little thing you can do in this game i'm rating it unfortunately a six out of ten um i think Mm -hmm. it's not bad it's not great and it's not good it's okay and that's really I, i think it's the if you look in the the dictionary for the word okay, like that's the picture you get. So, right. I um, I never do numbered scores, but I mean for this sake, yeah, I would probably agree with a six. Uh, because the way I think about it, obviously it's not a perfect game. Um, <laughs> the it's fun. About the way I think about like average is like maybe a five. Yes. And it's like I was being nice. I, I'd give it maybe slightly over but that's about it and that's being nice i can't give it any more than that um yeah i think i think the biggest thing is the bosses bring it down quite a bit the music brings it down a whole point for me um in generic qa bug fixes so yeah i would i would agree on a six i would agree on a six um i'm glad we have the but same it's, so it's, it, yeah but it's a shame it could be it could be it could be so close to uh being uh uh literally just an eight or a nine just by simple fixes that they could do so we'll see if they do them we'll see if they do them and we'll see if uh uh they learn from this they yeah. never do we'll see if they <laughs> learn from this. i feel so like it's like they got adhd like me bro it's like you learn from it but then you're gonna <laughs> keep making bro. the same yeah hey, yo high five i'm on i'm on concerta what you want <laughs> Uh, undiagnosed. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it'll get there. It'll get there. I only, got, I only got diagnosed last year, so. <laughs> Take the thing. But same with them. Like, they keep learning. They're like, yeah. Even now, like, their latest statement, you know, the budgeting going into Sonic. They did Awesome Way Frontier. is great. They learned. Like, woo. And then they get so confident and they forget. And they're like, oh, oops. Mm-hmm. So, hopefully that right. won't be a repeated case here as we get closer and closer to Sonic's 35th anniversary. So, we'll see as the time does oh, come. Because they are at this point. Like, if we're really looking at the calendar, they are starting to prepare for that year. They are definitely, like... They're starting to scripts. They're gonna they're gonna start brainstorming very soon. So it, it comes around quick. Thirty five, bro. That means I remember when 30, we were celebrating like the twentieth anniversary. Oh god, and that was recent to me. That was such and a good time. Twenty five, and then now we're at thirty. Now we're at thirty five. Oh I try god. to forget about twenty five. That was a horrible time. <laughs> we're gonna take a question or two from uh, the chat here who those who did come out into discord to hear this live and give their input when is i'm really funny oh no i never got a box shut up no i never get That's anything bro Wait, i on. never no, get no, anything no, no, and i is... got it and i was so happy and i was like I everyone can, got can, it too i'm so petty oh, i'm gonna be so petty so give me petty. like 30 seconds I'm gonna be do so it petty. do it i would Listen. be <laughs> i everyone just assumed i remember the top comment for like some of the creators like opening box like i i can't wait to see sam's reaction is yeah, like, me too i thought you I got one. Oh my god i people just assume that i don't know why i didn't get a frontiers one i didn't get anything for i don't know if they had one for origins i didn't get anything for superstars either. i, I so got like, something for superstars <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get, I didn't get, I didn't get anything. Bro, like, <laughs> I, I, I'm used to the being the one to be like, because, like, I watch you and everyone, I'm like, guys, this is so, yeah. like, obviously we know it's not, like, we're not trying to be petty. Like, at the end of the day, I'm sure there's only certain amount made, and then they oh, just. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah. Uh, honestly, to, to be fair, I think what it is, is, and I'm very open about this, is, I mean, I work with uh, a lot of the social media team okay. quite often for, like, PR stuff. Oh, my God, tell so them I say hi. Guess is, I don't know. There you go. Uh, uh, which, by the way, they are super cool, by the way. And I love and I really appreciate the fact that I can do both and still they don't like censor me. Like I could speak my mind. But cool. like I love that. Uh, or, or what I was going to say is I think it's probably just like a conflict of interest. Like mm. I work with you. So it's like 
giving me like a box would be like it could probably go to someone that doesn't get this experience so i'm really not <laughs> i just joke about her i'm like oh god they hate me now they don't uh, yeah, yeah no <laughs> like but, but I, I i agree with you like you know like i work in marketing and such and it, it it comes down to it's nothing personal. At the end of the day, they're trying to sell their game. They pick out creators who right. are trending. Or if they only have a certain amount, they're just like, yeah, man, rock, paper, scissor, let's go. And that's it. That's all. So it, it's nothing yeah. personal at the end of the day. But it is nice in the first place that they even think of us. And I've always appreciated mm -hmm. Sega being so involved with our community and so yeah. open to us no one is like this the live streams are a great example that they do every week sonic is right. probably one of the most loyal community ever and has some of the best pr and just some of the best leaders when it comes down to sega paying attention to their fans so i yeah. only appreciate them we we are very spoiled and we should appreciate them more right and yeah i think i think that's that's definitely something i always appreciate is their connection to the community. You don't see that with other, any other franchise. Uh, their ability to also have like mods and hacks is a huge thing that I know other franchises don't get the luxury of having. Um, and I think a te like someone like me is a huge testament that I get to work with them on marketing. I get to work with them on, on recording gameplay and such for whatever Twitter video they need or whatever. And I could still run my channel because they at the end of the day, they knew they knew who they were hiring. So they they allow me to still do what I love to do and. I get to work with them on a uh, at a, on a professional level. So it's, it's like as if you cool. are just naturally professional, so they like you. Wow, big shot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, I'm just like screw Sonic Superstar. I'm just like fuck. Why was it bad? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I am. I will say it's so hard being a fan, though. We're getting that. Oh, uh, it's that is we're, we're in a rough state. Yeah, sometimes you yeah. can't. Like, no, they're super, they're super cool. Yeah. That's great to hear. Um, I'm going to say two little comments here from the chat before we end off. We are over our time, guys. So um, I got one. First off, Mrs. Law says, tell Sam I give him air hugs. So that's a little hug for Sam. Appreciating you. <laughs> Appreciate it. And then we got Armor. If you can describe your favorite level in Sonic Superstars. That's really, that's a good question. And so one word, what would that be? Level one. That's two words. <laughs> Uh, in one word, if I described my favorite level, I'll go first. Honestly, I, part of me wants to say uh, level one. I don't want to say nostalgic. It's so funny. So I'm going to explain my reasoning for this. I'm going to just say, I don't know, life realization. I don't really know. The reason why I'm saying this is because the uh, first level, which is my favorite level of the game, Bridge Island Zone. It reminds me of Sonic Fan Remix, which is the super <gasps> old... I love that game so much. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> it was the super old fan game, which had, like, Sonic 2 assets. But it... I swear to God, it's so close to being... Like, it almost feels intentional. And it makes me feel, like, nostalgic whenever I see it. It's like... Like, like it's like... It's like Fan Remix. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So it's like... It's like... It's almost like Sega being, like, giving fans what they've kind of been dreaming about. They're getting there. They At just need some the time. Level. Yeah, they, they just the need time. Level. Give them a minute. They were testing it. It's fine. You know what? Yeah. It was their first time. It's fine. Whatever. We'll give them a minute. So that's a good one. I'm yeah. going to say pixelated. Oh, is, is Cyber Station? It is my favorite level. That, that is a good one, one level. <laughs> I that play it so one. often. Uh, next question, and it will actually be um, the last question for today. So we got Kit Edoras who is asking, are you guys going to any more Sonic Symphony tour concerts? Ooh. Um, I've already been to two. <gasps> are they good? Because I'm excited. It's coming here soon. Oh, you know they're good because I worked on them. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, I didn't know this. <laughs> what? Really? Are you going? Are you uh, going to any more? Yeah, you know, like next week we got another show in Berlin. Like you know, so, <laughs> hey, I love this part. I get, I get to gloat some more. No, uh, the Let's gameplay you see in the background behind the band while they're playing the t the gameplay that's timed with the music. I worked on those. Uh, no way, dude. That's about hype. about ninety percent of that is mine. Um, and especially the highlight of my career was was this year was uh, um, Kellen Quinn was at one of the shows, and I had to do uh breakthrough at all and i i timed the video with helen quinn which was like insanity uh but yeah no uh yeah i 
I they, they just announced some new tours. I believe one is in New York. I'm going to that I one. Might, I might. I don't know. <gasps> well, Maybe I'll, I'll finally see. meet you there. So you have yeah, to go now. Uh, yeah, me and Kenny are are thinking about it. So cool. we might stop by to that one. That'll be our third show. <laughs> so. <gasps> It'll be my first. I'm so excited. I was going to go to the one coming to Montreal, but I'm going to be on a tour in possibly Europe. So I won't be here. Okay. So when <laughs> Sonic leaves Europe, I'm going to yeah. Europe. So I'm just chasing him. I'm just yeah. very slow. And I'm thinking of meeting up in New York because that seems to be the perfect time when I am in town. Yeah, but I, I recommend everyone go to it, though. Like, like no bias here. It genuinely is a great show. Just seeing, hearing Sonic music just realized in person is just an insane experience. And I think the background gameplay adds some joy to it. So I think, and I'll, if you're a longtime fan, you're going to get a lot of the references that I do in those videos, those jokes that only fans will get. <laughs> so, uh, AKA getting a game over in Labyrinth Zone. Yay! Drowning in, in, in Chemical Plank. Yay! Like, there's a lot of fun stuff in the background. So you'll enjoy it. Awesome. I'm so excited. Sam, we're going to end off. We are at officially 56 minutes. That is the end time. So if you have anything you'd like Alrighty. to say, go ahead and sell yourself again. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, well, my name is Sam Procrastinates. I talk about any and all things Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, and thank you. Thank you, Kelsey, for allowing me to to be here. It, it was It was great. It was a lot of fun. And I love just interacting with the community and collaborating. It's a lot of fun. So you guys know where to find me. Yep, you guys know it. It will be in the description. We appreciate, Sam, your time, as always, your energy and passion. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening or watching on YouTube, no matter where you're from. You can follow everything on Supergirl Kels for more Sonic the Hedgehog and completing games as the pro gamer that we are here on the show. So thank you guys so much. We're going to end that call. And don't forget to go follow Sam. Bye. Bye.